Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink and I pulled out this little Lawn Fawn Aloha stamp the other day and decided to create a card with it. So I kind of had a vague idea in my mind and then it kind of took on a life of its own. So I have some uh, Tim Holtz Distress watercolor paper with the smooth side facing up and I am stamping the little um, pineapple stamp from this set with Simon Says Barely Beige Ink. I've done a couple videos using this ink and watercoloring and I'll have them linked at the end. And I've titled this one like Faux No Line Watercoloring because that's basically the look you get with this ink. Not 100% sure why, it just works. And all I'm doing is picking up the color, applying it to this, and it basically soaks into the stamped lines and gives it that detail so I don't have to, normally with no line watercoloring, you have to paint, you know, one area at a time, don't let things bleed into each other and add in all that definition. And it's a gorgeous look. It looks so much more realistic than, you know, just stamping in black and watercoloring or coloring with whatever. Um, people have been just creating the most beautiful works of art doing no line coloring. And while I love it, I don't have the patience for it at all. Something like this, this, this is what I like, <laughs> where I can just apply the color and I don't have to think too much. So I used Tombow markers for this and I'm just scribbling them onto my palette and picking them up with a water brush. Um, I will say I don't like this water brush. This is a Secura one and I just grabbed it and thought, oh, you know, I'll just try something a little different then. I always use my little yellow H2O water brush and that one I really, really like. And this one I just, I struggle with and I don't know why I didn't just put it down and grab the one I liked. I made it work, but it was just irritating. So, anywho, um, all I'm doing though is picking up the color, the marker colors with the water brush and then painting them onto this. I am not doing anything fancy. I am not fiddling. Like I said, normally with no line, you have to do like one little section at a time. So a background like this would take forever. Like, yeah, no, it would look gorgeous, but I ain't got time for that. So I am just pulling, like just applying the color Super simple and you can see it just soaks into those um, barely beige stamped lines there and it looks it gives it all that definition without any effort whatsoever. I love it. I need to do more of this and play around more with this. Um, you could probably you can definitely stamp in other um, colors of the Simon Says stamp inks. I know specifically the Simon Says stamp ones work best for this. I think Hero Arts ones would work as well. It has to do with the formulation. But I have this one and I've been using it and really enjoying it. So I did all my really quick, super simple watercolor. And then I scribbled some more of the yellows onto my palette here and um, added a little bit of water and just flicked my water brush against the edge of the palette there to create some splatter because there's always got to be splatter. And then I decided to stamp two more of these little pineapples on a scrap of this same um, distress watercolor paper and do the exact same thing. I'm just adding the color with my water brush and then um, going in with a darker color, adding a little bit of that while things are still wet. Again, I'm not even doing a bunch of blending or anything fancy with this, but it's just working. So I used a lighter and a darker with the greens and with the yellows just to give it that little bit of extra something and was happy with it. So once those were completely um, colored and done, I grabbed the little, there's a little sunglasses stamp in this set. So I grabbed that and my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I stamped that twice onto this scrap of paper as well and let that dry. VersaFine especially can sometimes take um, time to dry. I don't have a problem usually if I go in and watercolor right away, but I find usually if I stamp it and then touch it with my fingers, that's when I decide it decides to smear. So did that and then I stamped the little, there's two different little happy faces in this set. So I just stamped the basic one because more than anything, I just wanted a little smile because their eyes are gonna get covered up. And then I have the coordinating little die set. So I'm gonna tape those into place with some micropore tape. And then I have one of Simon's um, basic rectangle dies and I die cut the background with a basic rectangle. I die cut some vellum. And I also die cut one of the pattern papers from the Lawn Fawn Perfectly Plaid Rainbow Pack. And the vellum I want to use to stamp my sentiment. So I use my anti-static powder tool first. And then I'm stamping the sentiment with VersaFine Onyx Black just because it was handy. Normally I would stamp like with a clear embossing ink or Versamark. But the VersaFine works fine. And then I'm still using um, black embossing powder. I've had a lot of people asking me why I don't just stamp with VersaFine Onyx Black and emboss with clear because I don't normally like black embossing powder because it gets everywhere. But personally, I prefer the look of black embossing powder. I find when I stamp with VersaFine and then emboss with clear, 
it's like a watered down version of black is the easiest way to explain it. I like the crispness of using just black embossing powder. So hence me using it on this. So I stamped it, heat embossed it. And then with my little pineapples here, I'm going to adhere these fun little sunglasses with just little dabs of my Nouveau adhesive. And then picking the, them up with my tweezers so I can kind of not have my fingers in the way when you're dealing with small images to get things adhered into place. And then to adhere this vellum to the background, since there's not much covering it up, I popped the one pineapple there up with some foam tape. So I grabbed my little Nouveau glue pen that I got not too long ago, and I'm just tracing over right behind the embossed um, word there, because I don't want any adhesive sticking out because you'll see it through the vellum. And then I just used my um, regular Nouveau adhesive to add a little bit more behind the pineapple. And then I can press that onto the uh, background and it'll, that'll hold it all in place. So I let that dry and then I pop some foam tape onto the back of that watercolor panel and I'm going to adhere it to this background here. And like I said, I used the largest um, Simon Says die on that pattern paper. So it's a A2 size, so four and a quarter by five and a half as is my card. It was uh, four and a quarter by 11 inches and I'd scored it at five and a half. So it'll be a top folding A2 size card. And I open that up and I stamped the little sentiment from the set, the I pine for you, which I just think is cute. So I stamped that with the verse fine onyx black and I adhered that second little pineapple there. And then I'm going to adhere my card front to the card base. And I'm just using my Nouveau adhesive again. I like using the liquid adhesives, again, as long as you make sure not to use too much. So it's not oozing and not warping your card. But I like it for things like this because it gives me just a couple seconds wiggle room so I can get things lined up and into place before the glue fully starts to set and then you're done for. Like, you're not going to be able to pull this apart without ripping things, etc. But when I'm adhering layers like that, I really like a liquid adhesive because, yeah, it gives me that's just that little bit of wiggle room that I generally need. So I also added two little tiny dabs behind the, on the vellum here, which is going to show up, but I planned on covering them. So I pulled out some of my Nouveau drops for this. I wasn't originally going to add them, but then when I decided to add those little dabs of adhesive to make the vellum lay a little flatter, um, I needed to cover them. So I grabbed um, some ebony black gloss crystal drops, and then I'm using some apple green crystal drops, and just straight up and down. If you hold these on an angle, more often than not, you're going to get, um, or if you hold on an angle and if you like kind of swirl the bottle, more often than not, you're going to get a misshapen dot. So trying to hold them straight up and down, and then it just depends on how much you squeeze to how big you get them. And then my biggest thing is you have to set these aside to dry. I always stick my fingers in them every time. This time I think was the first time I didn't stick my finger in them. I actually set this card aside to dry. So I applied my little crystal drops and my jewel drops. And then since this was still sitting on my desk from a previous card, I've got my little clear Pico embellisher. And I just added that to the sunglasses. I could have used the black Nouveau gloss, but I like this Pico embellisher it has such a fine, this fine needle tip to it. So it's much easier to manage. And I just wanted the gloss right on the sunglasses there. So it was just quick and easy. And there's a little needle right in the lid that you just make sure to line back up to go right back in the nozzle. And then it keeps it from getting clogged. And yeah, that finished off my card. So I will have links below the video to my blog post with all the pictures, links to all the supplies used, all that info will be in the description box below the video. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and thumbs up and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.